آقا ساری یالا یالا محب کیزیه رایس اند اس مطن نمائندگی کی طرف سے آ جاتے ہیں نمائندگی رہبری کی طرف جو آٹھ سو پچاس یا آٹھ سو سٹھ سے جو باپ کی ظاہر بچے ہیں ان کے لئے یہاں پر کھانا خرام کی ہیں I was expecting I find some of the no representatives or members of the Indian Embassy in Tehran but I found that these are all volunteer students What about your accommodation, your food, the facilities you need? No, Is this provided by Indian Embassy also no, some no, help no, you're getting? They say it was provided because see, we are now long staying here. We were supposed to stay only four days. Now it's one month and they stuck us and our flight was on 14. There was a tweet published that uh, Indian Embassy is providing food for the Indian pilgrims who are in the city of Qom. The tweet was from a Twitter account with blue tech, most possibly related to the, into the Indian Embassy in Tehran. So uh, I have heard that there is a place in the city of Qom where some volunteer forces, some volunteer students are providing food for uh, some like 800 Indian pilgrims who are stranded in the city of Qom. I'm going to check and see how they are providing food for the people. Using my bicycle, just let, let me make it hygienic before using my bicycle. These are those places typically I'm touching. Okay, I will update you. Follow me. You see the traffic is really minimum. But still there are some people unfortunately who are not taking care, who are not taking the precautionary measures serious unfortunately. Okay, this is the address uh, where I was given. I think here is the center where they are providing food for the Indian pilgrims who are stranded in the city of Qom. Let's go in and see how's, what's going on inside it. Here I think the preparation is going on. It is, let me see. Oh sorry, yalla, yalla, Rice. And it's mutton. Mutton and dal. Asap, Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Zara, 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 یہاں انڈین زائرین کے لئے ہم کھانا بنائے ہیں انشاءاللہ یہ انڈین زائرین کے درمیان تقسیم ہوں گے اچھا کون سی زائرین جو ادھر اس کے حوالے سے بھی کم ہے اس کو جو فانڈ ون ہوتا ہے وہ کہاں سے یہ پتا آپ کو یہ مطلب یہ ہے کہ یہ کوئی والنٹیر لی دیتے نمائندگی کی طرف سے آ جاتے ہیں نمائندگی رہبری کی طرف اچھا 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 اس طرح سے ان کی مطلب سے ہم یہ زائرین تک پہنچا رہے ہیں اچھا ادھر سے یہ ڈسٹریبیوٹ ہوتا ہے کتنے یعنی ہوتلوں میں یا مسافر خانے میں کہاں کتنے ہوتلوں میں مسافر خانے میں کتنے ہوتلوں میں کتنے ہوتلوں میں اچھا الگ الگ ان کے لئے آپ دیتے ہیں جو دو سو چھبیس کے تعداد وہاں پر مجتمع اولاد ملے گئے ان کے بغیر جو آٹھ سو پچاس یا آٹھ سو سٹھ سے جو باپ کی ظاہر بچے ہیں ان کے لئے یہاں پر کھانا خرام کی ہیں ابھی لینے کے لئے تیاری کر رہے ہیں I was expecting I find some of the representatives or members of the Indian Embassy in Tehran who are providing this food for the pilgrims but I found that these are all volunteer students uh, who are actually putting their own life at risk in this condition in which most of the people are inside their homes quarantine these uh, Youth are coming out and cooking and providing the food for the pilgrims, Indian pilgrims who are stranded in the city of Qom. We are now going to distribute the food among the uh, different uh, hotels and centers where these uh, pilgrims are uh, staying. I'm following them, you also follow us. Based upon the order from the authorities, even the shrine of Hazrat Masumah is closed to stop the virus becoming more viral. Uh, 
Uh, now I'm going towards one of the hotels. I think it is a hotel where uh, some pilgrims from valley, from the valley of Kashmir are staying. I think 35 or something like that. This is the only group from the valley, rest are from Kargil, from Ladakh, Leh and from other parts of India. So may I know uh, where we are exactly and how many pilgrims from which we, part of India? We are, are from Kashmir uh, and we came here uh, on 1st of uh, this month. We are 42 people, 2 kids, 1 infant. Currently you are 42? No, no, kind of seven, 7 already left. 7 left, you are and 35. All is well, all, everybody is okay, healthy, no flu, no any headache, no, no bad cold, nothing. We are surviving here, but only we are stuck, that's the point. We want to go home and because uh, actually our program was Iraq and Syria, we cannot go. Yes. Our flight was cancelled and so it's, uh, till from first we are here. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, your only issue is that you want to fly back as soon as possible. Exactly. exactly. So what, what has been the latest, what have been the latest updates on behalf of the Indian authorities for your evacuation? The Indian authorities, yeah, because today they told us 16 people go today, morning time. And after two hours, they say, no, there's no flight. And uh, seven already left that, only seven, okay? And they say, we, we have some doubt, and we will clear this for 14 days, then we'll see, and we'll send you all. We'll send you, uh, like, a negative people first. If you have some positive doubt, we send afterwards. I heard that the people, uh, the Indian citizens, hmm. stuck in other parts of the world, they have been evacuated without any screening. Have you heard that news? Yeah, 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 yeah. we have heard about that. See, you know, when first, first, last, uh, last uh, this result came, it were, there were 254 people. And there were positive cases. We, no, none of name was ours there. Then after they say, okay, negative, negative, fur, further words, they say maybe we have doubt for some people. So we, you stay here, we'll see. And we make you a next test. And if it's okay, then you can go also. What about your accommodation, your food, the facilities you need? No, is this food, provided food, by yeah. Indian Embassy also? No, some no, help nothing, you're nothing. getting? They say they give us now, I'll say the Abdi is there, but I'll say the Abdi is providing their, of their own side, not from us Embassy. And uh, once that food. Oh, came, you mean the volunteer yes, uh, volunteers, people? Volunteers, yes, volunteers. When yes. the embassy is not providing, they say, we give you hotel money. You don't worry, I gave them a name of hotel. And they must provide it because, see, we are now long staying here. We were supposed to stay only four days. Now it's one month. And they stuck us, and our flight was on 14th. Yes, allow us to go back home. Then whatever we have, we have positive, negative, whatever we see there. Yes. You can see uh, here, are, uh, here are the people, you know. They are just very sounds. Nobody has some problem. And if you have, if you have positive, you see we are 20 days here. <laughs> After test, and maybe 11 days gone. Nobody has, no No symptom. one has any symptom. No symptom at all. No symptom at all. How the, I don't understand how they make doubt in some people. Uh, it's very, very sad. The conclusion of my survey today on ground was that, unfortunately, nothing has been provided on behalf of the Indian authorities to release the presence of these programs inside Iran. Whatever is being done, is either upon the shoulders of the pilgrims they themselves or something provided by them on behalf of the volunteer forces who are working for them hardly to release their condition. I really hope that the Indian authorities in Iran will take the responsibility as soon as possible. First of all, provide them with the basic needs that they are in need of them. And secondly, to evacuate them as soon as possible so that they will return back to their home and to their loved ones. Wassalam.